We're catching up on a game called Not a Hero, and I think I cannot start this interview without sort of asking about that, that because that's not really what you want to tell a player. Most of the time when you, they, they enter a game, you are the hero, it's more like yeah, it. So yeah. what's it's the really idea? Absolutely not. So uh, you kind of play as scum all the time, and uh, you're working to get Bunny Lord, who is an anthropomorphic uh, rabbit from the future who wants to be mayor in New York in our time for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Apparently it's the best time to be in, you know. Uh, so you're going around killing all of the mob bosses, just kind of clearing up crime through creating a lot of crime, because so you're pretty deadly. And uh, to get a corrupt mayor into power, so you're not really a hero, obviously. And uh, you play as a lot of kind of uh, creepy, horrible people who are there to just kind of kill enemies and make money, really. So yeah. So what, what's, the, what's the idea there? Is it, is it a serious story or are you just poking fun at different things? It's not serious at all. It's, uh, it's a very silly story. It's basically just not an opportunity to make a completely ludicrous, ridiculous game, which is what everyone wants, to be honest. Well, maybe, you know. I'm sure some of it wants serious, but yeah. I mean, rabbits can be serious business. Absolutely. Yeah, they can be, they can be. This one is, this guy is a pretty serious rabbit sometimes. Yeah, if you piss him off, he gets pretty serious, yeah. So in the faint in the background here, we can hear the sort of the retro tunes, obviously sort of playing uh, homage to to some of the you know the, the 8 bit, 16 bit era. Yeah. Uh, what, what's the thinking there going into the design and and, and the, both on the visual and the sound side? Uh, it's very much just kind of I suppose a modern take on retro art because uh, we're kind of going for with no color limit or anything like that, just going completely crazy. Uh, the music is uh, chip tunes by a guy called Dubmood, and uh, so that's pretty cool there. And uh, yeah, just mix a lot. <laughs> because a lot of indie developers are sort of very much in love with this sort of this sort of thing to sort of a sort of a, a modern retro game, if you will. Uh, what, what is it about that? Is, sort of, is it because you want to pay homage to, to where you began, where you began as a gamer? or? Uh, not really, actually. I kind of like to go for it because it's a very fun style to go. It's kind of quite abstract because uh, you're trying to communicate uh, a character or an objective through just like eight by eight pixels or something like that. And it's just kind of a nice challenge to kind of try and make that clear through that and uh, it's just a lot of fun to work with really and I, mean, I really think that pixel art is something that can kind of really develop there's there's a lot of stuff now that still hasn't been done with pixel art I think and there's a lot to do with it and uh, so just kind of using pixel art with our modern capabilities quite fun to see where you can push that I reckon yeah no, and I suppose it, it, often said that sort of true art comes through limitations and sort of yeah. overcoming them. Yeah, well, we haven't got those limitations as well. No, I haven't <laughs> reviewed the game yet, so I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we have got a lot of limitations still, actually, because uh, we're coding it in quite a uh, restricted platform, I suppose. But um, it's still kind of, we're getting to push it quite fast still, yeah, yeah. So in terms of the development, where are you at right now and sort of rolling it out to the public. Are you on early access already? or? Uh, I don't think we'll be doing early access. Uh, we're going to be going, it's uh, aiming for early 2015 release on PC and then uh, PlayStation 4 and Vita in summer next year as well. So um, at the moment we've got about, about half the game done I suppose. I'm just kind of trying to push through the rest and uh, yeah, yeah. Feels like a game that would would do well on Vita. Uh, obviously you have the experience there from, from previously. How, how do you feel it sort of fits the screen. Yeah, I mean, we've got to make some tweaks to kind of fit it for the screen. But um, yeah, it's, we're absolutely designing it with that screen in mind. And we think they'll work really well on V. So we've had a lot of people saying they can't wait to like, try it with a joystick and stuff as well. So, because I'm stuck to keyboard. But um, it's going to be good with joystick, we think. Yeah, a lot of fun. And, and Oli Oli, obviously, a, a success story, and you brought it out on Steam. Is it, is it nice to see it getting a little bit of a greater audience there? Absolutely, yeah. It's nice to see that actually getting more, because uh, obviously it's been quite a big success on Vita, so um, just kind of expanding that, that's been quite nice, yeah. <laughs> if you will, what, what's, what, what do you see the future for Roll7? What, what's your 
what's what's going on with you guys and and, and where you want to see yourself is, is this the kind of projects you want to work on or do you want to grow or what? I think probably grow in a bit but largely at the moment sticking to kind of uh, low, a lot of lo-fi art largely because with a slow, uh, small studio that's kind of all you can do a lot of the time you know but um, yeah just kind of sticking to that and uh, pushing forward with it yeah <laughs> thank you so much for your time thank you cheers Looking forward to being not a hero. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who isn't? <laughs>